Hey, what's going on? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, appreciate you stopping through. Uh, the video I was getting ready to show you all is uh, something I came across earlier this morning. I thought it was a um, funny, not so funny, um, late April Fool's joke, but, but come to find out, uh, it's real. Apparently, it's an unmarked white man is going around to um, low-class uh poverty stricken neighborhoods and asking uh not even asking they're offering twenty dollars per uh, mouth swab dna testing basically and they're saying it's for cancer research but it's a company um i had googled the name of the company the people they'll say the name um within the video if you want you can also do research on it but the company took it takes me back to um Tampa, Florida. Now we way in Louisville, Kentucky. Why would your company, why would some an unmarked vehicle be up here all the way from Tampa, Florida, talking about they doing DNA tests and getting mouth swabs? But I'm gonna get to the video and I'm gonna let you all, you know, make out of it what it will be. That's an actual thing happening right now in some of Louisville's poorest neighborhoods. But the offer is only available to passport customers. We wanted to know why this is happening and who is behind this proposition. So we sent out Felicia Ashley to find out. She's live in studio. So you spoke with people who have exchanged their DNA for cash. What did they tell you? I did, and some of them told me that something didn't feel right after they gave their DNA. The people taking and paying for those samples have been showing up in areas like West Louisville, Portland, Russell, and even homeless camps around K Kentucky. When you do the homework on it, you come to a dead end. Employees operating from this white unmarked van have been setting up shop in minority neighborhoods across Louisville for more than a month. They return day after day, handing out cash in exchange for DNA samples from Passport's health customers like Martha Mask. They wanted to swab me a mask, and they said swab it 10 times on each side. At the time, I was on my download, and I needed that change. But the people told me they had contracts with Passport. They, well, they didn't have no Passport uh, papers on around the tables or nothing. I reached out to Passport representative Ben Atkins. He told me Passport is not related to this group and warned customers about engaging with them. Where are they coming from? Uh, what organization are you with? None of these questions, you know, were answered. In March, we sent a couple of our producers to find out. They identified themselves as employees from Freedom Health. One woman called the number the group gave her at the last spotting on 34th and Broadway. Please leave your message for... There was no answer. It's another example of businesses preying on those folks who are less fortunate. A local health official called Councilwoman Barbara Sexton Smith concerned about the operation collecting the DNA of people in her district. And you take the DNA from my mouth, I sign paperwork, and you disappear. And we can't find you. Something's wrong with that. University of Louisville analytical chemistry professor Dr. Alita Poe said swabs can only check for genes that may be connected to certain cancers. At the moment, we can't really detect cancer just with using mouth swabs, but there's development. There are tests in development. We are still working to find out exactly why the group is doing this and paying people for their DNA. We reached out to LMPD and they said in this situation, follow your gut. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. <coughs> Excuse me. This would be my thing. Let's just say this. After doing the research, I Googled it. You heard them call. Seemed like it's all just a, a big, a big set up a big hoax what are they doing with these people's dna <clears throat> are they committing clones are they committing false you know crimes like what are what are they doing that's, that's that's my thing but i wanted to get that out there because maybe just maybe it's going on in your city too so if you got something going on like this in your city as well please drop me a comment 
down below and we can take it from there. We can build on this because it's just crazy. Yesterday, was it yesterday? I posted a video of the city moving all of the homeless people out and that's only going to, they just move out one street and go to another street. You know what I'm saying? That's all they do. But now knowing that they doing swabs in people's maps and shit, it's, it's got to be, it's got to be a reason for all this. But I'm going to keep my eyes open. And I'll let y'all know what I found when I find. Peace.